the you know uh, and also the uh, limestone both of the thing will be burning but if you do not and you will never be able to because it is impossible for anyone to produce anything like the quran then save yourself fear the fire whose fuel is men and stones prepare for the disbelievers this shows us uh, that uh, a person who uh, ha don't have uh, quran in their life so they are lifeless they don't have any guidance this they are like a without guidance they, they don't have any seriousness for this life and uh, ayah number 25 وَبَشِّرِ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ أَنَّ لَهُمْ جَنَّاتٍ تَجْرِي مِنْ تَحْتِهَا الْأَنْهَارُ كُلَّمَا رُزِقُوا وَكُلَّمَا رُزِقُوا مِنْهَا مِنَ الثَّمَرَاتِ رِزْقًا قَالُوا هَذَا الَّذِي رُزِقْنَا مِنْ قَبْلُ وَأُتُوا بِهِ مُتَشَابِهًا وَلَهُمْ فِيهَا أَزْوَاجٌ مُطَهَّرَةٌ We are on I number 25 and give good news to those who Uh, those who believe and do righteous deeds they will have a garden in jannah beneath which rivers flow whenever they are provided with the provision of fruits there from they will say this is what we we were provided with before so now after talking about uh, uh, the people who will be punished now talking about the jannah meaning they will be given a food which is familiar what they are having in this world the delicious and the colors and the taste and it is given to them in likeness meaning even though in the color and appearance they look the same in reality they will be different and they have the purified spouse and they will abide there in eternally and that life is never ending it is eternal so prepare for that life but what are the two things we have to remember that but there are two conditions for that iman and amal salih faith and righteous action remember the righteous action have four component first of all ilm knowledge one must do it with the knowledge secondly niya the intention should also be good for the sake of allah then sabr do it with the patience don't give up and quit too easily and the finally you know do it for the sake of allah and only uh, uh, yani uh, believing in allah completely without any partner means no shirk so the book is great quran and allah has made this quran easy for the servants it is allah speech and it is also understandable to people if you think about it the speech the language of the people especially those who are in knowledge advanced in knowledge sometimes very hard to comprehend the more a person knows the more complicated their speech becomes but allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allah allah rabbul alamin speak to the people in a way that they can understand this is the uh reason all the prophets they have spoken their language and quran was revealed in arabic prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam was speaking arabic so quran is easy but do we understand it do we take it to our heart or not so the good news is only for the people who uh, really take it seriously and who will take it to the next level so we have to understand that are we uh, the one who want to have the good news because uh, first allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says you can't produce the like of it and we have seen the, in a previous class the different references of it you know you could never ever able to uh, produce like of the quran not even haraka not even a dhamma fatha kasra so quran is astonishing so quran is amazing nobody can produce like of it so when quran is the um, like the word of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala quran is the greatest miracle given to prophet and you know we have to abide with the you know quran and sunna then only we can be successful because success was here wa bashiril ladina amanu because they have good news when they did the following things if they didn't do it iman and the amal sale can they get it just saying okay la ilaha illallah muhammad rasulullah they actually implement those and giving good news to those who believe and do righteous good deeds that for them will be garden under which rivers flow and when a, a reward for the righteous believers after mentioning the torment that allah has prepared for his miserable enemies who disbelieve in him and his messenger now the condition of the happy people loyal friends of allah subhanahu wa taala believers who are completely submitting towards allah and quran was called 
the miracle and it was it has the eloquence it has uh, all the answers to our question whenever you know when whenever we listen to quran whenever we understand it we feel oh this is this word is for me the quran is for everyone so this is a good news wa bashiril ladina amanu we all love to have good news but when we can have the good news there are do's and don'ts then only we can get this so wa bashiril ladina amanu wa amilu salihat when you have the iman with the amal salih many people they ask oh that person is so righteous he or she they did so much uh, yani work for the humanity of course that is good but iman and amal salih if they are doing amal salih no matter they are not muslim but they will be appreciated in this world but for iman and amal salih that is only for the muslim that is the good news with the وَبَشِّرِ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ إِيمَانًا عَمَلَ الصَّالِحَ أَنَّ لَهُمْ جَنَّاتٍ تَجْرِي مِنْ تَحْتِهَا الْأَنْهَارُ So the following things they will have it's like you know Allah is giving them reward and give good tidings to those who believe and do righteous good deeds that for them will be gardens under which rivers flow يعني جنة Allah stated that جنة has rivers that run beneath it meaning underneath we have learned this in surah to muhammad you know in jannah the rivers are there the water is there, there is no change in the uh, taste of the water there is no change in the color of the water it is so tasty like you kept it for years and years that is the water of the jannah there is a, a river of uh, uh, honey and that also is very tasty and there is a, a river which is of milk in uh, like you know when we get the milk we say okay we'll get them organic you know so that it will be good but uh, believe me world is naqis it's not completely it's not uh, uh, th- there is errors in this world like it it don't have like janna is beyond our uh, imagination everything is kamil and complete and there is uh, nothing which can be compared to this dunya so the the, uh, the like you know imagination is beyond so the things we, we, which we are like you know we have to uh, have the qualification for the jinn right so iman and amal salih so not only that there are other things also we'll see in the following when you have this and when you have completely yakin on allah subhanahu wa taala that okay allah will give me the jannah and the rivers flow in a which wa- uh, uh, like water flows and uh, we we love to go to the water streams and we enjoy it so allah is giving that and not only the, that allah is taking care of the taste like uh, usually in summer or spring time we we eat certain kind of fruits and we say okay in winter i'm not going to eat those fruits but allah says wa bashiril ladina amanu wa amilus salihati anna lahum jannatin tajri min tahtiha al anhar they have water beneath which river flows anhar from nahar kullama ruziku whenever they want food like in Indo- in dunya what we do oh, we want to order the food first of all we prefer to make a uh, food with our own hands right isn't it we love to make with own hands but per person to person it varies maybe they want to order it for for uh, from outside it doesn't matter the ultimate thing is you want to have a good food isn't it kullama ruziku like you you imagine you want to have the risk provision minha minas samaratu risk here talking about you know whenever every time they are provided there of the risk samarat fruits Uh, the provision qalu haza allazi ruzqna min qablu wa utu bihi mutashabiya so they are saying oh this is that kind of you know the taste or the color it could be the uh, both or it could be one of them means what fruits we have in this world whether it's the color whether it's the fragrance whether is the taste have you ever noticed for a small kid when we start giving the food they would first make the face and then they like it they eat it even though i am talking about infants okay the same thing allah is taking care of our taste also like the the taste we are used to it in this world that's the taste allah is giving and mutashabihat it could be same or it could be different 
وَلَهُمْ فِيهَا أَزْوَاجٍ مَتَحَرَةٌ وَهُمْ فِيهَا خَالِدٌ And we will have a spouse. Like in this world, the spouse مُتَحَرَةٌ Like pure, pure spouse. So what will happen? Husband to wife, wife to husband, wife, wife vice versa. I am talking about both. Sometimes you get irritated. Yani females get irritated with the male. They have some habit or male get irritated with the female, with the wife. Some habits, they don't like it. But here, you know, they have mutahara, like, you know, purified. It means they are purified in the character, uh, like they are committed uh, to both each other. Not only that, and also tangible and intangible manner. Sometimes some may have the sweating or some may have a kind of uh, bad breath or something or the other. Uh, and uh, you you would love to take care of those things because you don't want to like, uh, uh, any, you don't want to trouble other person, isn't it? But in the Akhira, you are getting the reward mutahara, purified. There's nothing like, you know, even not only just uh, talking about uh, physical, but even uh, their uh, way of talking, way of uh, understanding each other is also mutahara, purified. Uh, and talking in a manner, sometimes, you know, a person may be good looking and they don't have any bad habits or anything. But, you know, talking in a manner that may hurt each other, that also not possible in Jannah. And on top of that, they will be there forever and ever and ever. In Indonesia, we have to renew our passport. We have to, okay, we say we are permanent resident. We take an oath and so on and so forth. But after a few years, again, we have to renew that, isn't it? But in Jannah, it's forever and ever. So for that, you have to make sure that you give your 100%. So the similar between fruits of Jannah, Allah subhanallah ta'ala says, Kullama ruzikhu minha min samarati rizqa, qualu hazal lazi ruzikhna min qabli. Every time they will provide it with the fruit, they say, oh, this is what we were provided with before. And so here we understand how Allah is taking care of even the small things like our taste. Grass of Jannah is made of saffron. In one of the hadith, it was narrated by Ibn Abi Hatim, reported Yahya bin Abi Kasir said, The grass of Jannah is made of saffron. It's held from the musk and everlasting youth. The boys who are serving, they are youth. And fruits they will eat. And uh, fruits, it's so yummy and tasty. And uh, in, uh, in this world, when we get the fruits, Oh, this is sour. I thought it was very uh, sweet. Still, you know, as I mentioned, anything can't compare to Jannah. There's so much to uh, say about Azwajun Mutahara, but what is important thing here, they are purified and they are not hurting each other with their any kind of behavior, with any kind of uh, uh, habit. So this is all purified from filth and impurity. And here is some of the, uh, you know, uh, uh, different uh, Mufassirin said, Mujahid said from menstruation, relieving, call of nature, urine, spit, smin and pregnancy. Any, they don't have anything this. So uh, you must be thinking then how come the, you know, all the uh, dirt or everything it's like, you know, just you're going to have a, a one uh, breathe out something or something that way. But you don't have anything filled though. Katada said purified from impurity and sin. So in another narration, it was said that it was uh, purified from any kind of uh, any hurt. And they are purified, meaning ultimate happiness for the believers will enjoy everlasting delight safe from death and disruption because when uh, people talk about you know the spouse sometimes they are happy and sometimes they are not but in this you know they are happy 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 because uh, Allah has given one after another so when it talks about especially look at the word Bashir Bashir is from Bar Shinra 
Bashar, it's for the human being also. Bashar is also when skin becomes shiny with the news you got it uh, because of that news you're happy. Have you ever noticed if, so if somebody is uh, having a good news, especially pregnancy, this skin start glowing it, especially pinkish color they will have. Why? Why that skin will be? Because that's the glow. So, Babashiri Lazina. So, Allah subhanallah ta'ala use that. There's a linguistic meaning and there's a literal meaning. Amanu and Amilu Salihat. If we do these two things, these are the following things you're going to have. But for that, we have to qualify for this. Then Allah subhanallah ta'ala is giving an example. So, in Quran, Allah talk about parable. So the, the giving the example and Allah don't feel shy to give the example. Inna Allah la yastahi. Inna Allah indeed Allah la not yastahi. Ashamed. Ani yadriba. To set for. So yadriba is from daraba. Daraba is not only for giving an example, parable. It also used for walking or covering the distance. So here giving an example because Yadriba Masalan Masala is example. Ma even Baudatan Baudatan Bauda is it some of it, but here what it talks about Baudatan mosquito. Fama Faukaha and even something about it. So if you see in the detail the tafsir of it about it, you know a small gnat on the mosquito. Mosquito also, you know, if you don't prevent from the mosquitoes, so there are diseases and uh, it can harm you. But it's a small thing. Allah made it. But Allah is giving an example. Because of this, of this example, many people, their belief will be more and some, their belief will be less. Why? Because of the yakin, whether they believe it or not. Inna Allah la yastahi yain yadriba masala ma ba'udatan fa ma fawqaha about it. Fa amma lazina then as for those who amanu they believe. Fa ya lamuna they will know annahu al-haqqo that it is the truth me rabbihim from the truth. So this is the truth from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And mean Rabbi Imbamma Lazina Kafaru as for those who disbelieve. Fayahuluna Maza Radullah Hupi has a masala. So the people who is not believing, what they are saying, oh, what is the irada, what is the purpose or intent of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by the basal, yani, uh, by the example? Because their belief is not uh, correct, you know. So he lets go astray means the person who is not believing it. So they will get into the lala. Some of them get, you know, many get uh, go astray. And many they will have the guidance. Depend what a person takes guidance or the misguidance. Wa uh, ma and not. So ma becomes not when illa is coming. Remember that rule. Whenever sometimes ma is what? But here it is ma is not what? Wa ma yudillu ma is not because illa is coming. Wa ma yudillu bihi illal fasikin except the defiantly disobedient. Fasikin is from fisk. And you know, fisk is when a date get very ripe, you will see that skin is coming out, isn't it? So what it uh, shows, a person is crossing all the limit and becoming the fisk. That is fasik, defiantly disobedient. Really, Allah is not ashamed to set forth a parable, even of a mosquito or so much more, any what it is bigger. Or an ad, or less when it is smaller than it. And as for those who believe, they know it is the truth from their Lord. But as for those who disbelieve, they said, What did Allah intend by this parable? By it, He misleads many, and many He guides thereby. 
he misleads there only those who are fasik, kun, the rebellious, disobedient. A person will get what they intend for. You are putting the right address, correct address and following the GPS. What is the GPS? Quran and Sunnah. If we are not following that, if we are following the book which is not authentic. For example, some human being wrote that book and taking something from the Quran and something from other books and mixing and matching and saying, oh, this is the uh, book. Would you follow that? We, we will not follow it because we believe in Quran and Sunnah and we want to believe in authentic because who will get that? Babashiri Lazina, Amanu Amilu Solia. In order to qualify that, we believe in Quran and Sunnah and Quran is only one, there is no change in it. So Allah is giving an example to make us understand. So this is an example that Allah has given for the life of this world. Mosquito lives as long as it needs food, but when it gets fat, it dies. The example of the people whom Allah mentioned in the Quran, when they acquire and uh, collect the delights of the life of this world, Allah then takes them away. Allah says in Surah number 6, Ayah number 44, Falamma nasu ma zukiru bihi fatahna alayhim abwaba kulla shay. So when they forgot the warning with which they had been reminded, we opened for them the gates of every pleasant thing. So when person forgets the hidayah guidance, so palamma nasu, forgetting what Allah will do, ma zukiru bihi fatahna, fatahna alayhim abwab. Allah is opening the door of kulla shayn, everything. So the people, you know, when they were, uh, they will see the person who is getting everything, even though they are uh, like uh, not righteous or not believers, because Allah says so in Surah number six, Ayah number forty-four. Allah will open all the gates, whatever they want in this world. But what about the hereafter? So this is very scary, isn't it? So the following Ayah where we see. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned in different surah like surah al-hajj where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about uh, uh, their uh, uh, zubab. Zubab is a fly. Allah gives the example of zubab. Ya ayyuhan nasu duriba masalul fastami ulahu inna Allah inna allazina tadu'una min duni allahi lai yakhluku so here Allah says, O mankind, a similitude, a parable has been given. So listen to it carefully. Verily those on whom you call besides Allah cannot create even a fly, even though they combine together for the purpose. And if they fly snatches away, single thing, they will have no power to release it from this fly. So we are both the seeker and the sought. Da'ful talibu wal matlu. When people, those who are idol worshippers, they keep some sweets in front of idols. Okay. When fly snatches away and take it, can they uh, get back that thing from the mouth of the fly? They cannot. They can't. So they are so weak. They can't even snatch back that uh, food from the fly. So how weak they are, those idols, how can you ask them? So Allah says the seeker and the sought. Da'fu talibu wal mathlub. Surah number 22 and number 73, that is Suratul Hajj. And Allah says in one more surah, surah number 29 and number 41, Masalul lazina takhazu min dunillahi awliya ka masalil ankabut. Allah says in Surah al the likeness of those who take false deities, awliya. Awliya means very close protecting friend, BFF, your best friend forever. So you, you think best friend forever other than Allah is the likeness of the spider who builds for itself a house. But rarely the weakest of the house is the spider house if they but know. Awhana is from Wahan, means very weak. 
Al-buyuti, it's from bite. Al-buyuti, la baytul ankabuti, law kanu ya'lamun. So the, uh, the house of the baytul ankabut, the house of the spider is very weak. Have you ever seen something get struck into the spider web and it gets fall down? So a person who is uh, taking help other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they are very weak. They, they will fall down. So Allah is giving an example. Here also notice same. They are asking other than Allah. So here Allah is giving an example of the Allah is not feeling shy to give an example. Here it is mentioned ashamed. It should be shy. You know when we talk about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the word should be shy here uh, so there's a different uh, uh, you know word meaning but the correct word meaning will be there on uh, you know you can see on alhuda.com and also for hatashmi where blue uh, jews are there the correct uh, word meaning is mentioned over there there, there is some difference here so yastahi is from haya not feeling shy so allah don't feel shy to give an example so here uh, the sometimes they uh, translate is yadri by you throwing no in this context it will be set forth giving an example uh, you know when we translate the word meaning look at the way the ayah is going on then only you can translate it correctly looking the uh, grammatically and also the dictionary we are not doing it on our own so when we talk about the baudata uh, a fly because of the fly namuru died you know a fly went into the nostril of his uh, uh, nose and he uh, cannot breathe so look at the this is the creature allah did it allah created you know so allah is giving an example so they, they for everything allah knows best and there is also example in uh, surah al-ibrahim where allah talks about shajratu tayyiba shajratu kabisa you know how a word a goodly word is a goodly tree whose root is firmly fixed and its branches reach to the sky very high giving its fruit at all times by the leaf of its lord and allah sets a fourth parable for mankind in order that they may remember Alam tawa kaifa darab allahu masalan kalimatin tayyiba ka shajaratin tayyibatin asluha so there also sabit wa for uha fi samai so allah has given example over there also in surah al-ibrahim in ayah number surah number 14 ayah number 24 to 27 and parable of an evil word is that of a shajar qabisa is a evil tree uprooted from the surface of the earth having no stability have you ever noticed a weak tree it will come out from the branches when heavy rain falls but the small you know even the teeny tiny plants they will be nicely uprooted there so allah will keep firm those who believe with the word that stands firm in life of this world they will keep on worshiping allah alone and none else and in the hereafter and allah will cause the zalim and polytheist wrongdoers to go astray those and allah does what he wills so darab allahu masalan and there is one more example in surah number 16 and ayah number 75 allah puts forth the example of two person two men a believer and a disbeliever a servant under the position of another he has no power of any sort so allah has given one more example about a uh, uh, you know masalan rajulaini ahaduhuma abkam allah puts forth another example of two men one of them dumb ahaduhuma abkam is uh, you know bookman we say abkam yani dumb who has no power of over anything He's a burden on his master. Where whichever way he directs him, he brings no good. Is such a man equal to the one who commands justice? So Allah says, is it like a person who cannot, uh, like Abukam, who's a dumb, can be equal to the person who is sound? It's not, and that too, Ya Murul Bil Adl, doing the Adl, justice, no, can't. 
and one more example surah number 30 and number 28 he says for the parable from your own sir, slaves do you have partners among those whom your right hand possess or your servants to share as equal in the wealth we have bestowed on you so allah never feel shy to give an example so allah is setting for the example and after that allah says allazina yanquduna ahadallahi min ba'di misaqi not talking about the relationships what is this allazina those Yen Khuduna is from Nakht, yani breaking. Ahad yani covenant. Allahu Allah. Min badi Misa. Misa is from Wasak, after ratification. So after making it firm, what they are doing? Wayakta Una is from Qata'a. Qaf, Ta'ain. Yani cut off. Ma amarullahu. Ma, notice here Ma is what? Because there is no illa there. Okay? Ma amarullahu. What Allah has ordered be he in it, I use Allah to be joined by you Siduna and they spread corruption fill ardi in the earth. Ulaika humul khasirun and those are the losers. Yakta una is from Qata. What they are breaking, they are cutting off. Ma amarullahu, what Allah has ordered. And instead of I use Allah is from Vassal to join. And Yufsiduna is from Fasad, spread corruption. Fe seen dal. Fasad could be manvi and hissi, any tangible and intangible. Fill earth on the earth. Ulaika humul khasirun. These are the people who are losers. Those who break Allah's covenant after ratifying it and sever what Allah has ordered to be joined. As regards Allah's religion of Islamic monetism and to practice its legal laws on the earth and also as regards keeping good relation with the kid and kin and do mischief on earth. It is they who are the losers. In dunya, what we say to the loser, oh person, he don't know anything dunya we thinks, oh they are the losers. No, here loser is one who don't know uh, like you know uh, the righteous things which uh, Quran has described. So, what are the things, what they are doing? They are breaking the things, what they are doing, what they are be breaking, what they are uh, ordered to connect and so for those who believe, they know that it is the truth from their Lord. But as for those who disbelieve, they say what did Allah intend by the parable. But now misleading this, now talking about the people who want to break the covenant. So when it's talking about Allazina Yan Kudun Allah Ahdallahi. So this first of all talking about uh, breaking the covenant, you know, Vaday Alas before coming into this world in Suratul Araf, we all promise to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we will be completely uh, believing and we are believers. But when we come into this world uh, some becomes uh, disbeliever, some becomes believer. Allah to be Rabbikum, Kalu Bala. We said, Do you believe in it? We all, any, all the progeny till the day of judgment, we promise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, first of all, that promise. Okay? In reference to keeping uh, any Islamic monotheism. The, but what uh, else, what they are breaking, what they are asked to connect to? They are severing the ties. A person who sever the ties will not even smell Jannah. What it means? Not even having the fragrance of Jannah, how they can go to Jannah then? So for having the, you know, uh, connecting people is very difficult because doing the Ibadah could be easy because it becomes practice. Daily doing five prayers and you know all the rituals doing. But doing good with the people even though they are not doing good. It's really hard. So 50% marks from the Ibadah. 50% from you know doing good with the kin and kith. Blood ties. This blood ties is from maternal, patronal and of course from the husband's side. Because from husband's side 
our children's their grand um, parents will come and their aunt and uncle so we can't neglect and they are uh, severing the ties and severing the ties will not enter to the jannah person want a longer life and good provision for that they have to you know have the good relation with the matrilineal and, and patrilineal and also the blood ties the main important thing we all looking for you know we want to have the good provision we want to have a, a best life good life yani we want to have longer life so what is that these are the two things we want to have good provision so uh, connect the good relation with the you know blood ties but what if you know somebody is be, being very mean and somebody is uh, saying the things very nasty and very bad that's the uh, test even though somebody is being bad and mean still you have to do good that is called sila rehmi like you know doing both good it's quite easy though they are throwing the party you are it's throwing the party you are having good uh, time but this is the difficult question because they are closing the door on on you and they say okay don't come get out get lost but still you have to do the sila rehmi how the, alhamdulillah there are so many means these days just texting them voice texts and you know you can inform them and go but you have to have the minimum relation with the blood ties you can't sever the ties that is very important so here we have to remember that because ulaika humul qasirun if they break it but just not only one thing is mentioned allazina yanquduna ahad allah not breaking the ahad of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala what is that that to believing in oneness of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala okay then after that misaka wa yaqtauna then not severing the ties yani maintaining the sila rehmi and then after that after that don't make corruption what it means by the corruption in the land is just not like you know making fasad breaking the things we are creating chaos everywhere and harming the things and uh, destroying everything yes that also is there but also backbiting and making fights between you know spreading the rumors and uh, making somebody bad somebody mean talking bad about somebody that also uh, you've seen in a few earth fasad could be both way so if we want good we want good life span and we want good life then we have to do sila rehmi and uh, other uh, there is one more aya would you then if you were given the authority to do mischief in the land and sever your ties of kinship and that is mentioned in uh, surah number 47 aya number 22 there also and uh, the here about talking about meaning of loss ulaika humul khasirun in the hereafter means they are the loser in the hereafter and uh, there is a reference of this aya uh, surah number 13 aya number 25 ulaika lahumul lanatu wa lahum suud dar for them is a curse they will be far away from allah's mercy and for them is unhappy evil home so ulaika humul khasirun loser is a, like you know they will be loser in this uh, world and also in the hereafter when we talk about this you know this is very scary though because uh, maintaining the ties is not easy because here they are those who break the covenant of, of allah after contracting it and sever that which allah has ordered to be joined specially relationships if they cause corruption on the earth it is those who are the lo- losers so we learn earlier about muttaqin then muhtadin salihin now fasiqin are mentioned so those who break the promises they make with allah they have no regard for la ilaha illallah they take the name of allah they make promises in his name sever oaths in his name and then don't fulfill them and the relationship that allah has commanded they should be joined they cut them off remember the people who sever ties of king, kingship are deprived of rahma allah's mercy such people are khasiru they suffer in this world and the hereafter there are two things that increase uh, when a person joins uh, ties of kingship 
they are life and also risk sustenance and our life uh, uh, you know move around uh, these two things isn't it we want uh, good looks not only that we want uh, uh, like good life longer life isn't it so everyone wants to live li uh, longer and have good money good lifestyle to keep this good one should have a good relationship is it easy it's not so yeah, yeah, nee, uh, this is a question which is very tough very hard even though allah has informed us you know make the relationship good it is hard but it's not impossible it is possible now following aya aya number 28 allah says you were dead then allah gave the life then again you will be dead kaifa takfuruna billahi wa kuntum amwatan fa ahyakum summa yumitukum summa yuhyikum summa ilayhi tujun kaifa means how how takfuruna can you disbelieve is from kafara kafara billahi in allah wa kuntum while you were amwatan amwat is from mouth dead before coming into the tummy of the mother we were dead we were nothing we are no one fa ahyakum allah gave life from hayya hayya ya summa then you me to come he will cause you die so we all will die one day okay some will earlier some will later how much life we have given then summa you hayya kum allah will give life again then when we, we uh, they, they will be two trumpets one trumpet will be all will die the second trumpet then all will get up from their graves that is yuhikum for the day of judgment summa ilayhi turjaun and you will be written how can you disbelieve in allah seeing that you were dead and he gives you life then he will give you death then again will bring you to life on the day of resurrection and to him you will return who allazi khalaqa lakum ma fil ardi jamia summa stawa ila samai fa sawahunna sab'a samawat wa huwa bi kulli shay'in alim will to see the the tafsir together he it is who created for you all that on the earth then he is the ruz over towards the heaven and made them seven heavens he is all knower of everything who are this is a pronoun used for allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allah is the one who who allah khalaqa created lakum for you ma what fi in al ardi is earth the same we, we use in english earth jamian all together so ma uh, then is the one he turned ila to as sama is from sama sky fa sawahuna he fashioned them sab'a is used for seven samawat in heavens it's not one samawa samai it's samawat seven heavens wa huwa bi kulli shay'in alim for and of everything allah is knowing so kaifa takfuruna from ayah number 28 we will continue 28 and 29 allah says kaifa takfuruna billahi how can you disbelieve in allah when you are lifeless where did you come from he puts life in us he brought you to life then he will cause you to die meaning you are not in the world forever his life is very short then he will bring you back to life yet another life so then to him you will be returned so then there is no death so there are two deaths and two lives and this shows us that our life is not just in the world the real life is the life of the hereafter so we must prepare for what is coming ahead so here when it is talking about we were dead and how allah gave the life so allah testify to the fact that he exists and that he is the creator and sustainer who has full authority over his servants so how can you disbelieve in allah seeing that you were dead he gave you life then he will give you death and again will bring life on the day of resurrection then to him you will return so allah is saying that the same topic has been mentioned in surah number 52 and number 35 and 36 where they created by nothing am khuliqu min ghairi shay'in am humul khaliquna am khalaqu samawati wal arda bal la yuqinun or were they themselves creators or did they create the heaven and earth nay 
but they have no firm be, uh, belief. Uh, 35 and 36 in Surah number 52. Allah says in Surah number 76, Ayah number 1, Al Ata Al Insana Hinum Minad Dahr Lam Yakun Shayan Madskura. Has there not been over a man, any a person, people, a period of time when he was uh, not a thing worth mentioning? Like, you know, we were nothing before coming into this world. So there are many ayahs on this subject, you know. Ibn Jari reported from Atta that Ibn Abbas said, Wa kuntum wa amvatan fa ahyakum, seeing that you were dead and he gave you life means you did not exist before. You were nothing until Allah created you. He will bring death to you and then bring you back to the life during re resurrection. So Allah says in Surah number 40 and number 11, they will say, Our Lord, you have made us to die twice and you have given us life twice. So, huwa allazi khalakalakum. Ayah number 29, Surah Al-Baqarah. Uh, huwa allazi khalakalakum ma fil ardi jamia. It is he who created for you all that is on the earth. Then he istawa ila the heaven and made them seven heavens. And he is the knower of everything. So, evidence of Allah's ability here. So after Allah mentioned that proofs of his creating them, what they can witness in themselves as a proof of that, he mentioned another proof that they can witness. That is the creation of heaven and earth. So it he, it is created, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created istawa ila, heaven and made them seven heavens, meaning he turned towards the heaven. Fasawwa hunna and made them, meaning he made the heaven seven heavens. Allah says, and made them seven heaven. He is knower of everything. Allah says in Surah number 67, Ayah number 14, Show not he who created, no. So beginning of the creation, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is explained detail in Surah to Sajda. Allah says in detail like you know, from there onwards, uh, I'll mention the ayah so that you can refer it later on. Surah number 41, ayah number 9 to 12. Not only there, and Allah mentioned in Surah number 79, ayah number 27 to 33. So this same topic has been talked about. So earth has created before heaven. So who allazi khalakalakum mafi. So Allah created the earth before the heaven when he created the earth, smoke, burst out of it that that is why Allah says summastava ila samai wa wa dukhan then uh, istawa ila turned towards the heaven when it was smoke and made them seven he heaven so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is one who has made seven heaven so now he uh, in the ayah number 29 he created for you all that which is on the earth then he directed himself to the heaven and made them seven he heaven and he is knowing of all things. Now the origin of mankind is mentioned here. Where did people come from? Who was the first human being? Like from ayah number 30, the topic changes from ayah number 30. So we will keep it till ayah number 29 and one hadith we will do and then we will stop uh, for today's class. Uh, the hadith about, you know, good manners. Let me open so the good manners here, uh, uh, when you go to uh, sunnah.com, where you can refer to the Riyadu Salihin, uh, Maram, uh, I open it, but uh, we will see this uh, book of uh, purification. First, uh, let me complete this one. So you can open this one, Riyadu Salihin, we are doing this book of good manners. In that it is mentioned, Ibn Umar, may Allah be pleased with him, reported, Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam passed by a man of the Ansar who was admonishing his brother regarding shyness. Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Leave him alone, for modesty is a part of Iman. Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Man Ansari huwa Yaiz. Yaiz means it's from Waz. Aqa means brother, fi Haya. For call Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Just remember these three words Leave him for modesty is the part of Imam So there is nothing wrong 
you are having a modesty you are having a how haya haya should be in your mind not only in your like uh, showing outwardly also is good but in your mind like you know not using cursing not using bad words not thinking bad and uh, not saying anything bad to anyone so inshallah we'll keep it uh, till here jazakallah khairan kaseera subhanakallahumma bihamdika ashhadu an la ilaha illa anta nastaghfiruka nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilaik assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh jazakallah khairan kaseera see you inshallah every monday this is the time so do log in okay allah assalamu alaykum